Easy guys, it's Myth. Uh, sorry I haven't done a tutorial in a while. I've been <clears throat> trying to make sure that I'm doing stuff that's not just something that everyone's doing. I've been struggling to think of some good things to do, but this one came in as a request. Feel free to request anything that you want to know, and I'll try and do a tutorial about it. Um, this one is about uh, creating jungle subs with a synthesizer uh, and getting some of the noise effects on them. So let's just start with Massive. I'm still using Massive. I'm old school. Uh, mostly just because I haven't been bothered to learn Serum yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's a sign tone. Um, so to create the first lot of jungle bases is the 808 stab. Um, and basically you can use samples for this, but if you want to create your own, have more control. Uh, all it really is is this shape on the main uh, uh, ADSR here and then you put a little bit of pitch on the first oscillator up to an octave up and then make a shape like this so it's got like a kicky front because an 808 is essentially a kick drum so so you just get a bit of attack on it put a bit of release on it Have it re trigger. So it's something like this. And then you can just move. Something like that. That's your 808 sound. Uh, then for the jungle wobbly sort of bass, uh, it's a sine tone again. But there's a few ways you can get, you can achieve the movement basically. So, first one is the most old school way, which is just press two notes that are next to each other on the keyboard. So, that's one note. Put this up. One note, and then the second note into it. Oh, I've got this. I'm still turned on. Yeah. And it starts to move. Next note up, and the next note. That's how you control the movement. So that's the easiest way to do it, but you're kind of restricted on the types of movements that you can have. Um, so another way of doing that is adding another sine wave uh, and detuning these sine waves away from each other. So one goes up, one goes down, and whichever one, like however far you pull it away from each other, the faster the oscillation will be. So that's another way of doing it. Uh, a third way of doing that is if you have uh, this pitch cutoff setting on the unison, so you set it to 2 and have it at the maximum but on this on 0 and then you gradually move it. Um, and that's the three ways of achieving that sort of sound. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, then the next one is like the classic uh, Reese bass sound, uh, the Ray Keefe bass that everyone loves. Uh, so it's three sine waves. Um, Two of them are just tuned away from each other, like before, but the third one uh, is just normal. But these ones have to be on formant and then turned down, and you can move the intensity to change the tone of it. Um, turn this on to restart it. Um, and then you can also, to level at the bottom of it, there's a, you can kind of take a little bit out of it like that. Um, and then you can obviously add, oh, that was metal. Um, Stuff like that. So that's basically that one. Um, 
And then the other thing that people were asking about is the how to do jungle bases with the noise, the like old school Dillinger driven noise sound that I put in loads of tunes and people like DLR Break, Mako, all them guys doing that sort of thing as well. Um, there's a load of ways you can do that. Um, but let's just take one of the techniques for now and record some thing. So just record that. Put it proper quantize, otherwise it'll annoy me. Okay, that will do for now. Um, yeah, so we've got our sound here. Also, this, depending on however you have it, like at the output, just like level or down, you can change the sort of dynamic of it, but it does also affect some, some of the techniques that you need to, to make the noisy thing, noisy thing happen. Um, so this is probably the easiest way. Get this plugin, Satin, by uh, Yuhi. And uh, this basically asperity or asperity or whatever it says. Don't worry about the hiss and always mute it because it just becomes a pain in the ass of those. It just gives you a bit of noise just instantly and then from there you can just distort it up a bit more and then EQ to move it off. Uh, there's one way. Uh, the other way that it gives you a different sort of sound is a little bit more complicated. Um, and uh, it's a way that I kind of nicked off of some other guys. This was, I've named it DLR Fizz 3 because it's I, the closest one I got to sound in like the DLR Fizz of the first sort of two albums that he was doing. Um, now, I don't really want to go into this too badly because it's pretty self-explanatory and there's a few little sneaky things in here that make it sound exactly the way that I, it sounds. It's a bit of a different sort of sound, but the, basically you've got this making noise and then you're gating the noise to, create, to control it. Then it's distortions, two distortions, and then an EQ to leave it as just noise. So if you listen to it on its own, if that's what you're sort of looking for. But to get back to that point, you have to do all those things first and then go back to the start and EQ out issues, problem areas, until you get the sound you want. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for that one. Uh, yeah, big ups. <laughs>